Hi, my name is Taylor Sokolow and I am from group 27. The piece that me and my group have decided on to talk about today is Gray and Gold by John Rogers Cox. This piece was created in 1942 by John Rogers Cox and it is oil on canvas, size 36 by 59 and 3 quarters. John Cox was an American painter from Terry Hot, Indiana. His style and subject matter align him with the regionalist and magic realist landscape tradition. Some elements that I admire about this piece is the texture of the clouds as well as the grains and the ability to create perspective through the use of the pathway as well as the telephone poles. To John Cox, this piece was a representation about how the United States was about to join the Second World War. The piece displays amber waves of grain in the foreground being threatened by the approaching storm clouds in the background. It can also be noted that there is political posters on the telephone pole. To me, I relate to this piece in the way that I always see the glass half full. Some may look at this piece and see a storm rolling in, whereas I see it as a storm going away. This piece represents my ability to keep a positive mindset. Hello, my name is Hannah Smith and I am in group 27. I am currently attending Florida Atlantic University, majoring in business management. The piece that my group chose to talk about is Gray and Gold. It was created by the American painter John Rogers Cox. It is about 36 by 59.8 inches in size, and it is an oil on canvas piece. It was created in the year 1942, which was during World War II. That war was actually the inspiration for this piece as it represents that America was at a crossroads during this time because they were fighting fascism. One formal element that I identified in this piece is light. You can actually see the light shining through the clouds here by the use of highlights. I also noticed that the foreground is a lot brighter than the background in this piece. The foreground being the road and the crops and the background being the clouds. And this is done by the use of shadows and highlights. I can personally connect to gray and gold because the crops are growing despite the storm clouds above, which relates to my own life where I've grown despite setbacks and my own weaknesses. And the light is used to give viewers hope, just as I believe to never give up. Hello, I'm Sarah Smith from Group 27, and I'm currently a freshman at FAU majoring in business marketing. The portrait that we chose to talk about is Gray and Gold by John Rogers Cox. This portrait was created in 1942 with oil on canvas, and you can currently find it at the Cleveland Museum of Art in Cleveland, Ohio. It is about 36 by 59.8 inches, and it was surely created after World War II to symbolize like what it was like to be in America at that time. The format element that I chose was value because personally my favorite part of this painting is the clouds and I feel like that's what really gives the clouds the definition and the hues that it needs to like really stand out. And lastly, the correlation to this in my modern day life is that I feel like a lot of times, especially going to college and stuff, I've been stuck at a crossroads and I don't know where to go or what to choose but I think it kind of symbolizes like which road you should probably take and you need to choose to take like the road most travel where you probably know where it's going to go or like you could try to take the riskier road and just hope for the best. Hi my name is Hayden Sims I'm a freshman finance major and I'm in group 27 and we picked Gray and Gold by John Rogers Cox for our project. Uh, I think this is pretty cool because the lines uh, kind of give you the depth of the field. Um, whether it's the telephone poles or the crossroads, it's just showing you that, um, you know, there's depth, there's space, and you can't really do that without the lines. It is a oil on canvas painting, and it's 36 inches by 59.8. And uh, I personally identify with it because when you look at it, um, I feel like you can look at it either as you're going into the darkness or coming out of it. And it kind of just shows that uh, no matter what you do in life, everybody has issues and problems. As long as you persevere and you keep walking, you'll get through it. You'll eventually succeed and do everything that you're meant to. And that's something that's really cool to me that this uh, piece of art really made me think about. Hi, my name is Sam. I am a criminal justice major and a freshman at FAU. I'm in group 27. For this final, we decided to pick the artwork Gray and Gold by John Roger Cox. It was painted in 1942 and it is an oil painting that features realism. Unframed, this painting is 91.5 by 151.8 centimeters. I'll be discussing the element of space that is featured in this painting. 
Gray and gold features a lot of positive space. As you can see, the painting looks ongoing. The artist creates depth by making the telephone poles slowly get smaller and he fills in extra space with the dark clouds and ongoing fields. Therefore, there is really no negative space to be shown. According to the Cleveland Museum of Art, this painting was painted as the United States joined the Second World War, and its image of amber waves of grain threatened by dark stormy clouds is a symbolism of us at war. Personally, without knowing the background information of this painting, I could see how it represents a person's life. You have a path paved for you, but you can't see what's ahead. The stormy clouds represent difficulties and curveballs life throws at you, though you can see the sun shining behind the colors with the little specks of orange. The sun shining and the colors in the field represent all the good that will come once you get through the harder times. Hi, my name is Crystal Smith and I'm from group 27. The artwork that my group decided to do is called Grain Gold by John Roger Cox. He was an American painter born on March 24th, 1915 and died on January 25th in 1990. He created this piece in 1942 after the United States joined World War II. From this painting, the artist is implying that American democracy is at a crossroads in this time of comeback against the spread of fascism in Europe and Asia. The work was inspired by the landscape around Cox's hometown of Terre Haute, Indiana, a location nicknamed the Crossroads of America due to the junction of major north-south and east-west national highways within its city limits. One formal element I recognize is shape. The road itself forms a cross, so it can be read as two ways, as a highway or a religious symbol. Lastly, I relate to this piece because it reminds me of the calm after the storm. The storm represents trials and tribulations and hardships, but on the other hand, calm signifies peace, tranquility, and resolution that follows diversity.